Okay then, so we've seen one way to consume context inside a component, and that is by using this static property context type, setting it equal to whatever context we want to use, and then we get access to that context object on this. So this all works and that's fine to do, but there is another way I'd like to show you that we can also consume context, and that is by using a context consumer. So much like we have this provider given to us on the context when we create one up here, we also get a consumer. And that's what we're gonna use inside this component to now consume the context. So let me delete this, we don't need that anymore. And let me delete this as well, we don't need that. I will keep these because we'll use them in a minute as well. We still need to import theme context at the top because we're gonna use the consumer on that theme context. So now in the return statement down here, instead of just returning this JSX, we want to return the theme context dot consumer like so. And inside this consumer, we put all of this different template. But first of all, this consumer expects us to pass in a function. So curly braces, then normal parentheses. And this function takes in a parameter, which is the context. So this function is then gonna return some JSX. So what we'll do is just grab all of this stuff and paste it inside here. So let me just scoot this in like so. And in fact, we'll bring this up here. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, we're using the theme context consumer right here. And what this is gonna do is consume this context. So we get access to that context data right here inside this function. Now inside this function, we're returning some JSX and we can still use any kind of data from this context inside this template. So it's pretty similar to before, but this time we just have this variable instead of this.context. So now what I'm gonna do is just copy this stuff right here and paste it inside this function. And we need to change this.context to just context like so. So now we're doing exactly the same inside this component. And if I save this, and check it out in the browser, it should still all work, and it does. If we open this up and go to this thing and change the value of is light theme to false, it still works, cool. So again, all we're doing is using the consumer of the theme context we created. And then inside that, we use a function which takes in that context object as a parameter. Therefore, inside this function, we have access to that context object. We're destructuring some information or constants from that context object, and then we're setting the current theme. Then we're just using that theme to output some different styles down here. So this is just another way of using context inside a component. So we've seen these two different ways now, but which one would you use? Well, I prefer using the previous approach, the context type approach, when using class components. But the good thing about this other approach is that we can also use it in functional components. So for example, if I wanted to, I could change this into a functional component and it would still work. Now, another benefit of this approach using the consumer is that we can consume multiple context in one component this way. We can't do that by using the other approach and we're gonna see this later on. So anyway, now we've seen two different ways to consume context in a component.